هن ما اللي بيسمى في بوضوع العين أنا هذا المذهبين أعلى وانقلاب بالإسودي انقلاب قد بالإسودي عروتي تجارتي إما القبينتي إذاك حارات الوسو كريه أوردن وهل قوس بغوك بسديدة يسوق الوسو داري أولي لحدي فرباك على قبصدة ستيتا وصل قبصدة وعرالة وراحي أنا هذا المذهبين أعلى يا هنا يوادي وكم يرتا شنق رغم بمانك الدلاء Serious. Serious. There's not two ways about in statecraft. This country, Kenya, when the riots happened recently, if I was president, this was an attempt coup. An attempted coup. A clear attempted coup. Kids of wealthy business owners, wealthy parents, and kids raised in the ill gotten wealth. 80% from only one tribe were dropped off in downtown and told to riot to take over state house and parliament buildings. God forbid, if I was a Kenyan president, I would have slaughtered 5,000 of them daily. Reference to the Gen Z rioters. This is what uh, Farah Malim, uh, the former speaker, deputy speaker in the parliament in the days of uh, Kibaki. I believe uh, we are doomed uh, as a nation if we have uh, been electing these kind of leaders into office. We are doomed. If these are the kind of leaders that uh, we elect, because the Farah Malim did not find himself as a, an MP, he was elected by people. And so this is very unfortunate. <clears throat> the crop of leaders that we have, I think, all of them must just leave the scene because we don't need them anymore. They are, they are beginning now to, if you watch whatever they are speaking, they are the ones who are sparking the revolution. You see, <clears throat> I believe uh, this government, uh, it's the most rotten government I've ever seen, just from the president himself. Huh? They are very arrogant, they do not give a damn, they do not care about the future, they just care about themselves, you know. They do not care about the country also. So Farah Malim thinks that uh, Kenya is Somalia, whereby there is no law, whereby he can just be slaughtering 5,000 people daily. I mean, that statement is very unfortunate coming from a leader of his caliber. And uh, I now see why the Gen Z's have to press on, why the revolution has to continue, and why we are not backing down to this guy, this guy sir, who are very, very, very uh, heartless. They do not care. They do not give. Uh, I mean, guys, we need to go back to the drawing board. The president assigned the IBC bill. And he has acceded to it, and we mean we need a, a credible IBC, which whereby all these MPs will have to be shown the door. We do not need them anymore. We do not need these people anymore. It is very, very unfortunate, guys. It is very unfortunate to see this kind of thing, guys. I think uh, if we ever have, uh, I think this is not tribalism. If we will ever have a Somali president, I think Kenya will be. A place whereby people will die and there will be a very big problem so guys uh, in case you are watching this video for the first time kindly subscribe and remember to like the video and uh, we will get you more things in store thank you for supporting us and uh, let's see you in the next video uh, and let me know in your comments below what you think about Farah Malim and what he's speaking. Is it correct to say that he has you, you can be slaughtering 5,000 kids every day? Is it logical to, for a leader to speak this kind of thing? Just let me know in the comments, guys. Do not shy away. Talk. Speak yourself in the comments. That matters a lot. Let us see whatever you can do with this kind of government. Thank you so much.